So here's a typical example that you'll find in any statistics course, which is uh, integrating a function which is a product of x times the exponential e to the power minus lambda for some constant lambda x. We're going to get rid of dx and we are able to take a primitive of e to the power minus lambda x since if we take fx equals x then we get as a different uh, derivative one and if we look at g prime equals e to the power minus lambda x we will find minus one over lambda times e to the power minus lambda x yeah so we can immediately tell that the remainder integral we get a product of one and this exponential function um, which again we can take a primitive of so this will typically solve our problem right away so as a first instance we get f times g which in this case is x times minus one over lambda times the exponential function e to the power minus lambda x minus the integral of the f prime times g which is minus one over lambda e to the power minus lambda x yeah so the remainder integral is significantly easier to solve since now we have well the known term is yeah, the one with the dash line over here so it's minus x divided by lambda times e to the power minus lambda x and uh, on the right hand side we can easily find a primitive of e to the power minus lambda x times minus one over lambda which would p in this case minus 1 over lambda squared times e to the power minus lambda x and don't forget the integration constant yeah we can write this a little bit differently yeah so here we repeat the first term and the second one is 1 over lambda squared times e to the power minus lambda x plus c and now we factorize and take out the term minus 1 over lambda e to the power minus lambda x. And the remainder term is 1 over lambda plus x. And finally we add the integration constant. So again here we used uh, integration by parts or partial integration uh, by removing the x uh, from the original integral.